Okay, this is Spencer again, the Tampa Bay Wallpaper Installer. So, one of the most difficult tasks in hanging wallpaper is to hang wallpaper behind a toilet bowl. One of the, one of the worst things about hanging wallpaper is hanging wallpaper behind a toilet bowl that's on top of the wall. So those are your two hardest tasks, all right? So let me show you this toilet bowl. Now, this is the time when you gotta have the greatest patience. First of all, take a general look at the toilet bowl installation, the, to the uh, wallpaper. Now, because I'm pressed for time, okay, I, I could, and I don't have my, my cheap uh, tripod with me, which I'm throwing out. Nobody suggested where I should get a good one for my iPhone, so if you have a suggestion, on a tripod for an iPhone, please tell me, because I need one. I, I bought one for 20 bucks on Amazon, it's junk. The phone doesn't stay in the holder, and I'm not gonna damage my phone. Y you see how perfect the installation is? This takes a lot of patience. It doesn't take a lot of skill. It takes a lot of patience. This thing is an escutcheon, this thing that covers over it. So what did I do? I brought my paper down behind the bowl, right? Now, depending on the thickness of the paper, there's a couple of ways you can bring the paper behind the bowl. Think about a piece of cord. And you leave it up here, runs along here. When you get the paper all bunched up, you simply pull the cord against the wall, pushing, and then it brings the wallpaper down. I didn't use that, but that's one way I could have done that. Since the wallpaper is thin enough, what I did was I took the forward edge, meaning the bottom edge that's going to go down here, and I pulled all of the bunching of the wallpaper, brought it up here, and just simply pulled the wallpaper down nice and easy. Now, I, there are tools that you can roll glue behind the tank. I chose to put glue on the paper. This is an installation whereby you put the glue on the wall. I put the glue on the back of the paper where the paper would be behind here. And so I pull it down, and then the gymnastics you got to do to make this sheet match with this one is very difficult because it's not an ideal situation. You're working around an obstacle. But, so I brought my paper all the way down here, right? And then I put the knife right in here, right against the pipe, and I sliced it straight out, straight out. Can you see where the two pieces meet? And you're not supposed to. Okay, so although I didn't show you the exact how-to on the video, I gave you some tips on how to get that paper behind the... Uh, and that the whole installation took, I'm going to say, 45 minutes. 45 minutes to get that in place. And, you know, uh, what I would do also is take clear plastic. This is a brand new home. They're showing it. It's a model home. But if I were you, I would put plastic over the bowl because you're literally hugging the bowl with your body. And, um, and that's it. So that is uh, how to install wallpaper around, around a, uh, an obstacle such as a, uh, a toilet bowl. Let me just show you something, all right? When you're hanging paper, uh, the wall is not straight, as I've shown before, and, and you'll be pulling the paper. Like, you know, when a woman adjusts a skirt, she moves it back and forth. Well, the paper is literally very similar. Um, and so you're kind of pulling the bottom to the left, the middle to the right, the top to the left. What you get is the paper starts drying, right? And this is where a lot of paper hangers go wrong, in my opinion. They leave the job too early, and this is what happens. Look. This paper was installed an hour and a half ago. You see this thing? Okay, that wasn't there when I first put it in, but the paper is drying, okay? And, and it's uh, trying to go back to its original form. And so it's, it's pulled out of whack a bit. And so it's like, what's this? And it forms a wrinkle. That's what's happening. If paper were to be installed perfectly straight, which we don't do, okay? We're, we're generally making it straight, but um, you're, because of your human hands, you're, 
you're off a sixteenth of an inch or whatever, and the paper, this is the result of the, the paper not being put on perfectly straight or having to have been stretched. And so that's the result. So the paper hanger should stick around to make sure that his paper is not wrinkled as it dries. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you. I took off my bars. They have bars here, perhaps for someone disabled. Uh, don't try to wallpaper around those things. Take them off because um, it's imperfect. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. You should have your tools to take these things off if you have your own wallpaper business. All right, so that is how to wallpaper around a toilet bowl. See you on the next one.